Hey, what is up everybody? It is No One Shall come at you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today, we're going to look at the new ship, the new, the new new ship, the Amalgam, Amalgam, whatever you want to call it. I have, thank you Zula for helping me out with half the pack. I greatly appreciate it. And we'll go over the ship and hopefully I can find a raid that is suitable to try it out. I'm going to try it on a low raid because I think I found one. I cracked the base, so let's see what happens. It's less than a billion, but it's worth the test. Don't forget to like, the subscribe, that bell notification down below. Below that and see more, come join my Discord. Under that are donation links. We have Cash App, we have Venmo, which we're both under no one shall. Under that is going to be a tiny URL, which is my PayPal donation link, and the join button for either two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month. So let's go build the ship. The ship is actually a hundred bucks. I already bought it, so no point in showing the pack because it's already gone. Unless it's like limit one per customer. Let me make sure. Uh, let's verify. Yep, it's gone. But anyways, let's go build the ship. Let's go see what it is. And see what it is right off the bat. And go from there. So, we have the Amalgam. As you see right here, it's 6 days build time. 17k lad if I want to build it right away. 15 mil trit. 90k uh, dilithium. And if we go down the list, it starts at warp 40. Remember, the plus 20 warp research. And then... Cargo capacity is 939k at tier 1, which isn't too shabby to be honest for a level 31. A level 31 ship. So let's build the ship. And let's go see this beauty commando dock. I know some of you guys are like, ew, the ship is nasty, the ship is ugly. But I think it's kind of awesome of what it is and what it can do. And the refines, it has a lot of things to it. And I'm really happy to see it in game. It's just like it's, it's uh, in app purchase the first month, but it is what it is. So here we go with the beauty coming out of dock and it is such a kit bash of so many different ships in the game that it's unbelievable it came out just how it is it's a a packlet ship that is the independent design i read it on stream so i'm not going to re-butcher it again off stream or off well in a video as you can see i'm feeling a little bit better so here we go with amalgam off the bat it's a big 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 baby ship and it can barely fit the screen so right now it's tier one. Let's swap it out. I'm gonna drop a few officers on it that I'm gonna increase. It's cargo capacity, of course. Boop, boom. And as you see here, my cave orb, seven million cargo capacity, sweet. Let's go get the amalgam out survey. Survey says it is one million cargo capacity with even the officers I have currently, 1.5 million and can I upgrade it yet? Let's see. You need the amalgam parts right off the bat. If you guys aren't aware where to get the amalgam parts, you have to go all the way. Sorry, I'm high up in the deep space. Eh. Let me collect this bonus. Bonus. Boom, boom, boom. I got that bonus. I got that bonus. And it's right around here, if I remember right. Let me wait for my ship to get back. But we do have the Amalgam. It is an interesting ship. It does have a refit already, but you can unlock it through the Amalgam store, which is going to be... It's not listed yet, is it? No, it's under cloaks. What am I talking about? Under cloaks. See Amalgam's right there. You need 80 of them. And you get through the Amalgam store, which is going to be... Or refinery, as I'm calling it. It's a refinery. So, as you see here, once you unlock the Amalgam, here's the refinery. Here's everything you get through it. So you have the amalgam right here. The, re the refit for it's a skin tracker. And as you see here, to get the amalgam stuff, you gotta get the loot, which is gonna be right here, two million. Plundered cargo, cargo plundered with Klingons, Romulan supply systems found along the respective border. So it's right here. And it's two million to your first one. And it's gonna be located around here, I believe. So let's bring it in. To the system to show it off so as you see here oh, I thought this is where it was am I am I wrong let's go here so let me read the description one more time so amalgam Cargo plundered from Klingon and Romulan supply ships found in system alongside their respective borders, which is going to be respective borders. Oh, supply ships. So we got to find a supply ship. So we got to find Klingon supply ship. 
see 9,000 right there. And let's see, I want to see if I can find a little bit bigger because I know my research is a little bit bigger than most to see the test it. So I'm going to take you off for a minute and swap you with my Katinga after I fix it because I, I, I hit a base with it. So let's get this up and then put the normal Pike Moreau chin on, even though the Katinga is big enough to or not continue i'm using that survey so survey says there you are malcolm see what you guys can take on even at low levels so let's i think 31 would be fine nope there's no 31s there so let's try the next system of 34s one more shot to see if i can find them any supply ships here negatory any supply ships here so, so far it's uh, Cos Rock is one place. Nothing there. Nothing here. That's a surprise. I know I'm not gonna be able to take 40s with this thing, but for gigs, let's see what we can see here. Wow, there's, no, there's only one place I see supply ships so far. Is there only one system you can hunt them in? Because there's the 46 one. So there's a supply ship right here. So that's a 31. So it looks like it's the same across the board. Huh, interesting. Okay. We have one right here. Not many in the system. So let's go here then. And doing the base system since there's quite a few here. And we'll bring it in. Let's bring you in, even though it could be mini ships, but I'm going to use the Malcolm to test it out. Bring this back to base. And then is my 10 minute up yet? Eight minutes. Eh, almost 10 minutes on him. Let's go to the system. Uh, I forgot how to do it. Okay, any repairs, so he should be dropping shield soon. Uh, one, uh, I'll hit it once and show you the numbers, and then I'll go from there and do a raid with the ship like it's meant to be used as, as a raider. And it's a low B raider, but it's a raider nonetheless right now, and then once we get it up, we'll see the increase. So we'll see then what 9,000 we get from the plundered cargo. And you don't specifically have to use the ship because there's no bonus for using it. There's 9,000 from it. That's how you get the cargoes in these systems right here. Let's bring it back and go look at a raid with it. So let's bring you back. And hopefully the shield is popped. So let's double check. So we're at 10 minutes. And the shield is down. Malgum's home already. So let's bring it here. Boom. Let's bring, let's fix the Malgum quick. Hit the base one more time to break it because we know once your shields drop, you still got to re break it again. So let's get the amalgam out. It's not going to be a lot because it's under 1 billion, but I couldn't turn this raid down because, well, 200k, 200 or 200 million, 200 million, I can't turn that raid down, especially since Trit and Dill's always needed. Boom. Now we see 1.5 million there. Remember, the first ability is 0 0.001, so let's see what we get from it. Probably not as much as my current cave orc, so you see there. And then I only gained a little bit more, so he says oversized cargo, 90k. So it's only going to be good for big, big base raids, but lower end ones, it's still going to be fine for use. And it's not going to be as good as like max cave orcs and max anything else but it's still gonna be good for when you're doing those huge base raids that are gonna make or break the bank because like you have the trillion raids the bill or the hundred billion the yeah it's gonna make a good ship out of it and it's gonna be some good testing especially with the refinery for it where you can refine uh, resources for it or re uh, things for it, like honor guard war shards like we can go over it one more time before we end this video so amalgam once you do this refine see plunder 
you can get your amalgam plundering, which is going to increase your by 9,900, so it's going to make it a lot quicker for your first one. So when you get your first 100K, you get the plundering one, then you can plunder a bit and get from the exo comp, and then start getting stuff like, uh, where is it? I don't think it's going to show right away. See, you see right here, 125, 250, chance, chance, chance. And then once you get that, I think the other option is going to open up. It's not showing for me just yet because I don't have any of this material yet. All right, guys, it is No One Show signing off. Don't forget to like, that subscribe, that bell notification down below. Let's go out the raid. Love you guys. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.